identify at least to transcultural nursing practices in the care of sick individuals or patients among other nations or countries and explain the nature of these practices in their respective communities. A patient's behavior is influenced in part by his cultural background. However, although certain attributes and attitudes are associated with particular cultural groups, not all people from the same cultural background shares the same behavior and views. Touch In Arab cultures, male health care providers may be prohibited from touching or examining a certain parts of female body. Similarly, female may be prohibited from caring for males. When caring for an Arab American patient, nurses and other healthcare personnel should be aware of the cultural differences in an effort to provide the highest level of culturally competent care. Members of the Arab American culture prefer to be only touched to healthcare providers of the same gender when receiving medical care and may specifically request that their healthcare provider be of the same gender. The ward in the hospital contains a mixture of female and male patients. All rooms are private. A male cannot be a patient in a private room with a woman in the next room. Hence, there will be a continual reassignment of rooms and patients. Eye contact has a fundamental role in human social interaction. The special appearance of the human eye implies the importance of detecting another person's face through eye contact. In many Asian, African, and Latin American countries, however, this unbroken eye contact would be considered aggressive and confrontational. These cultures tend to be quite conscious of hierarchy, and avoiding eye contact is a sign of respect for bosses and elders. In these parts of the world, children won't look at their adult who is speaking and nor the employees to their bosses. Eye contact is also a culturally determined behavior. Although most nurses are taught to maintain eye contact when speaking with patients, people from some cultural backgrounds may prefer you don't. In fact, your strong gaze may be interpreted as a sign of disrespect among Asian, American, Indian, Indo-Chinese, Arab, and Appalachian patients who feel that direct eye contact is impolite or aggressive. These patients may avert their eyes when talking with you and others they perceive as authority figures.